can it possibly be right that the police constable on £27,000 a year should be taxed at 32 pence in the pound? But someone making many times more from buying and selling shops and stocks and shares should pay just 20 pence in the pound. That will not stand under Labour. I pledge that as Chancellor, I will not balance the books on the backs of working people. And here's our second principle. We will bring a laser focus to efficiency in our tax system. There are hundreds of different tax breaks. Some are important, but too many simply provide loopholes for those who can afford the best advice. And added together, they cost more than the entire NHS budget. So we will look at every single tax break. And if it doesn't deliver for the economy or for the taxpayer, then we will scrap it. And, and here are a couple. Here are a couple that we will scrap right away. Under the Conservative Party, private equity bosses who asset strip British businesses pay a lower rate of tax on their bonuses than their workers do on their wages. That is indefensible. We would scrap it. And here's another. Right now, private schools enjoy charitable status, which makes them exempt both from business rates and from VAT, at a cost to taxpayers of £1.7 billion every year. But conference, here's the truth. Private schools are not charities. And so we will end that exemption and put that money straight into our state schools, state schools like the one I went to. Conference, that is what a Labour government will do. And here's our third principle. We will support our high streets. Every single high street business is a labor of love and a product of courage and of determination that gives life to our everyday economy. They have faced huge adversity this last year and many are struggling right now with a cliff edge of rates relief coming up in March. Four out of five retail businesses are warning that they may have to close outlets if the government does not act. So today we are calling on government to freeze business rates next year, to increase the threshold for small business rates relief, giving small and medium-sized businesses in all sectors a discount next year. And conference, to pay for those measures, the government should increase the digital services tax to 12% in the next year to make sure online companies who have thrived during this pandemic are paying their fair share of taxes too. But the truth is, our whole system of business taxation is not fair and it's not fit for purpose. How can it be? when bricks and mortar high street businesses are taxed more heavily than online giants. High street businesses pay over a third of business rates, despite making up only 15% of our overall economy. But when Amazon's revenues went up by nearly £2 billion last year, how much did their taxes go up by? Less than 1%. Conference if you can afford to fly to the moon, then you can afford to pay your taxes here on planet Earth. So we will level the playing field and ease the burden on bricks and mortar businesses. Labour will take the bold action needed to support those businesses and make sure every community can enjoy a thriving high street. We will oversee the biggest overhaul of business taxation in a generation. So I can announce today that the next Labour government will scrap business rates altogether.
And here, and here is our guarantee. The system that will replace it will incentivise investment, promote entrepreneurship, reward businesses that move into empty premises, and no public service or local authority will lose out from those changes. But most of all, it will make our system of business taxation fair for the 21st century. Together, these principles of taxation, prizing fairness, efficiency, and support for business comprise our approach to funding our public services, one which will support hard work, enterprise, and adaptability, recognizing the value of work, demanding efficiency, supporting thriving high streets conference. That is what a Labour government will do. And I want to make one thing abundantly clear. We cannot have a return to the failed approach of austerity. It wouldn't deliver growth, and it would be devastating for our public services. The next Labour manifesto will set out a plan to raise living standards and opportunities across Britain. But we cannot tolerate waste when it comes to public spending, especially when it comes to money wasted on outsourcing companies. So I promise you, I promise you, Conference, that the next Labour government will carry out the biggest wave of insourcing of public services in a generation.